Hey guys, it's your boy Beamon, and welcome back to the Lucian Town Vikings and Pirates Career Mode. And thank you, thank you guys so much for absolutely smashing it on the Pokemon Career Mode. It's just astronomical. Now, a lot of you guys have a feeling I've gotten something crazy, like 200 subscribers over the weekend. So I feel like a lot of you guys might not be familiar with this Career Mode. So go ahead, click right here, ding, and that'll take you back to the first episode. And this one is a doozy. Uh, so go ahead and come along for the ride, guys, because it is an amazing career mode, I must say. It's the most fun I've ever had making something on YouTube. Um, but for you guys who just want to jump in right now, the too long, uh, didn't read version of this is basically, we have taken League 2 Luton Town and done a proper road to glory and risen them all the way up to the Prem right here. And this is our, we're starting our second season in the BPL and we have Champions League football. Unfortunately, we did lose in the Europa League last year, but we were able to capture our second FA Cup. And now we are into the transfer window in this early second season in the BPL, our fifth season overall. And what a journey it has really been. It's been really uh, such, such perspective, guys, such perspective that we've risen from so far. What a road to glory series this has been. And now we want to return our prodigal son, Stuart Dover was our scout future star at the very beginning of this series. He's been traded away a couple times, but we're going to try to get him back. We have put in a transfer offer for him. And now you know, you guys know my old school uh, my old school subs. You guys know that I love me some uh, free agent rookies, guys. At the beginning of every season, I go ahead and take a peeksy peeksy look around. And these two look very promising right here. So we're going to go ahead and sign up the center back and a CDM and see if, uh, if I may bear any fruit. And if not, they're really cheap. And of course, we had some amazing pre-contract signings with the likes of Ross Barkley, Nabo Bentley, Lab. Look at those freaking cents. Oh my goody goodness. I make all my money with pre contrast because that's what you gotta do in the Road to Glory series. By the way, guys, got a Road to Glory tip video coming out for you in about a week, so go ahead and look out for that. And of course, we did sign uh, my main man right here, the American DeAndre Yedlin. Look at that pace, guys. Look at the pace. And now we're gonna get into it. Can we make some transfers right here? And there we go. Contract. Oh, there we go. They have accepted our offer. We're giving 7 mil, essentially our entire budget, to get Stuart Dover back. He does have the potential to be special, and he is our son. Come on, guys. Let's bring the Pirates home in this episode. That is the title. Uh, it is decided that that is going to be the title, and we are going to be bringing him home. I'm coming home, coming home. Oh, yeah. And there we go. And uh, we're going to go ahead and bring in Norty Denisnil. Dumisil and uh, Andrea Palladino over here, the two rookies, and see if they're uh, pretty promising. But as you can see right here, Stuart Dover is a sizable upgrade over Ortiz, but we are going to keep Ortiz around because we only have one goalkeeper on the team. <laughs> well, now we only have two, but as you can see, both of them around similar sizes. And there we go, CDM um, and the CB that we both signed up. As you can see, very respectable stats right there, both of them relatively pacey. And as you can see, if we scroll down right here, uh, Demisel obviously has better like passing stats and whatnot, but uh, Palindo pretty good, pretty good. Only 5'11 for a center back, which could be a little bit better, but force a five star weak foot. Jeez, Louisey. And both of them are left footed. What is up with like all these regen players being left footed? It must be 50 50 or something. And if you do remember in the last season, it was kind of a cliffhanger because Hayden Turner kept on refusing his contract, so we're gonna go ahead and offer him less this time. We offered him 13k last year. But I have a sneaky suspicion that it's just EA being stupid, so we're going to offer him uh, like a K less and see if he actually accepts. But as you can see right here, rum, boom, kabam, bam. <laughs> EA logic, man. It must be some misplaced one or zero that randomly decides if he's going to accept the contract or not. And it's it's so dumb. Hashtag change career mode. But it's a new year and the RNG reset. So yeah, now he accepts it. And guys, it's been a long time coming. But you knew you knew all the way back when I first started this career mode. All you long time B-minus fans that when I said this was a pirate career mode, that there was only one player that absolutely 100% had to be on this crew. And that is the one, the only, the pirate, Victor Ebar. And we are going to go ahead and put in an offer, a hefty offer right there, 10 mil to get him into the club. And oh my goody goodness, we are going to be simming through these friendlies. I don't mind as long as I do not get an injury. And oh my, they have accepted. We're going to be bringing the pirates home this whole entire episode, guys. It would be a dream. It's been a dream since the start of this crew mode to bring Victor Ibarbo into this crew mode because he's a pirate through and through all the way since FIFA 14. A lot of you guys are like, what the hell is this guy talking about? But there we go. The prodigal sons have returned to roost. 
I am mixing all my analogies because look at that pace. It would dizzy any man. 95 sprint speed, 83 strength, 89 acceleration. The man is a freaking tank and he'll be leading the front line. And I, I oh my goody goodness, our front line is gonna have so much pace in the front of it. Can you freaking imagine that? Six to four star skill moves and we got some skilling and wheeling and dealing can also play on the right wing. And as, as you can see, we are still in the transfer window with a friendly up against the Barcelona. Giving a quick shout out to my Pokemon Barcelona career mode. I wonder, are any of you guys like Barcelona career mode fans? You actually, would you count my Pokemon career mode as a as a Barcelona career mode? Because sadly, I'm not really like playing with Barcelona. I'm just using your jersey and your money. So it's, it's kind of, I don't know. <laughs> I'll stop talking about Barcelona anymore because we do have our first game in this episode up against Chelsea in the Community Shield. Of course, Chelsea ran away with the title last year. I think they won by something insane, like 18 points, like uh, basically real life Chelsea. And we were able to defeat them in the FA Cup. So they're going to be looking for revenge for uh, the Community Shield. And look at this. This always wows me how pretty this looks. This has actually happened in real life. I've never been to like uh, uh, any soccer, soccer, football stadiums. <laughs> I'm an American. Um, any any stadiums in uh, in Europe. So I'd love to love to see that in real life. It looks amazing. But here we go. Our new boy Victor Barbo is just look at him destroy everybody. But a heavy touch, and Courtois is able to pick it off of him. But we were the ones on the front for right here with Bentelab, the other new signing, and oh, almost carried into the goal right there. But then you knew Chelsea was going to come right back, and unfortunately, this is what happened. Patty McNair up, going for that ball, and falls oddly on his shoulder, and we're going to have to remove him, guys, and that is not going to be good. He's one of our best defenders. And it's going to be looking pretty serious, as you can see right here. Going up and looking. Diego Costa. Oh, with a dirty knee. Look at that dirty knee. And he falls down and looks like a sprained shoulder. And it would come back to haunt us right here. That's Chelsea Willian whipping it inside. It bounces off of Costa. And no one on the back end. And there we go. Lucas Piazon is there to freaking knock it in free on the near post. Oh, not on the far post. Always killing us in the 90th minute guys that would be a dagger or as good as a dagger can get in this community shield heart break for us <sighs> sadness that is Malkia just totally missing and Stuart Dover couldn't get across far enough but we had one last push but unfortunately it wasn't enough the fearsome Chelsea defense locked up and we would go down and we would lose the community shield and I, you know, you, you want to tell yourself, all oh, the Community Shield doesn't mean anything, but ugh, just a bad taste in your mouth, and unfortunately, right here, uh, we are going to be losing Patty McNair for about nine days, so not bad, not bad. That's the most important part of it. And here we go, Barcelona coming in for Terry Ambrose, who didn't really get much playing time last year, so I'm going to go ahead and knock it up. My advisor is saying 8.1, 8.1 mil, and I was like, okay, because we spent all of our funds already on the likes of Super Dover and on, um... And on Victory Barbo, but as you can see, both of the players are sold right here. Barcelona coming in, and we're gonna sell Luke Wilkinson, one of our late holdovers, so that will free up some room to go after some of the targets that I wanted. And I want this, I want this kid bad. I want Nathan Redmond, because every single time we played Norwich, they beat us or they tied us, and it was always Redmond like scoring on us. So if you can't beat him, have him join you. And another guy, I'm sorry to the sub who recommended Damari Gray. I've been looking at this kid for a really long time, and I've had two wingers in the team, Fumu Tomazu as well as Minig, who are been good wingers, but I want I want English wingers, you know, I want guys that are playing in English leagues right here, so we're going to go ahead and try to trade them out with a little bit more money, and now we're into our first game up against Manchester City, and Arturo Vidal somehow scuffs it off of the post, he always, Arturo Vidal scripted, talking, speaking about like scripted uh, freaking transfers, Arturo Vidal always freaking ends up on uh, Manchester City and he always destroys me. But look at this victory by Will pacing through. Can he get to it? He cannot. And it looks like Joe Hart is out already on this uh, Manchester City team. And we have one last chance in the 94th minute. Ruben lost his cheek almost all the way through but a heavy touch once again carrying it into the keeper. And we have yet to score a goal in this freaking season in a non-simulated game. Oh my goody goodness, and no rest for the wicked as we are into the Champions Cup right here. This is, of course, we are in fourth place, so we have a, um, we have to play this two-game playoff, much like Manchester United has to play next year. And woo -hoo! A warning shot from Zalom with his left foot, but that would pretty much be it in this game. 
If you guys are new and like, why are you blowing past all this? This is an accelerated career mode, guys, so we are just blowing past a lot of games. Uh, and as you can see, contract accepted, well, um, uh, terms accepted for Nathan Redmond right here of the Norwich City Vernacular. That makes no sense. <laughs> but they have accepted that offer and hopefully we can agree to personal terms. And there we go! Nathan Redmond is into the team and we are going ahead and going to accept that offer. But unfortunately, he will not start in this Tottenham game because it, we have a loaded front three, guys. As you can see right here, Eden Hazard, Devontae Cole, and Victory Barbo. That is a fearsome, fearsome front three. But as you can see in this game, we have more of the pirate just moving around, trying to find something, and uh, yeah, just getting booted away apparently. And uh, this is what's noteworthy. What is Stuart Dover doing over here? <laughs> what was our goalie doing? Think he's Manuel Neuer just running all the way. Get back in your goal. What are you doing? Oh my god, if they took a shot from there, they probably would have scored. But alas, we were on the attack. And look at this. This is the most surprising thing I've ever seen in FIFA. Victory Barbo is run down from behind. What the hell? What the hell? You're a pirate. And how Stuart Dover outpaces people, but unfortunately is going to miss at the near post OP not going any well. And then 85th minute, no. Over to the top. And then it goes down. What is going to happen right here? Dos Santos going around, but we're able to block it away with Malkiet, who gives it back, but it falls right to them. And then Silva knocks it in. Oh, just tired legs, tired legs. Remember, we are out without Patty McNair right here. And look at two of our defenders just running over each other and falling down. And that is what would free up the, uh, the space for them to go ahead and get that goal. And another late winner for our opposition. And it, I was, I don't know what was going on. We couldn't score, and we have yet to score a goal. So I was going around and playing with the formation. I found out that my two wing forwards were actually two cams. They were playing like cams. So uh, yeah, that one's on me. That one is on me. I don't know why. This is the same formation that we were using last year. So that is a little bit weird. So now we're going to go ahead and put them out as wingers and see if they play a little bit better or uh, hopefully substantially better as we are into this second game. Remember, we had the tie in the first matchup against them and we're starting the second string guys, Solank, Redman, and Jordan Iba front. Uh, not a bad trio, not a bad second string. We are deep. And oh, Hayden Turner almost trying to atone for his mess earlier. But could we get something here? Yes, we do. And it's Jordan Iba to score our first legitimate goal of the season, giving him the Mario Bell. Telly Hulk pose and it takes almost all the way to the second half of our fourth played game and off of a set piece no less uh, to get our freaking goal and a shit crap goal indeed but we could we get something in the 81st minute we're gonna knock it over to Dover who sees Boateng who's through on goal but a good stop by the keeper right there and then Boateng working a little bit more magic Nathan Redmond sees O'Hara did a central defensive midfielder with an incredible Goal. I mean, at first glance, this is like, oh, that's pretty nice. But look at this. Left-footed through two defenders and the goalie. Just in between. That is such a precise, precise, underappreciated goal right there. And looks right over the top of the shoulder of the goalie. What a goal by Liam O'Hara right there. But now we are on the attack. Could we possibly get three after uh, like after all of this? And in the 93rd minute, Min Sa Gi. Our center back, our PC Korean center back, and he's not a sub, he's played the whole game and somehow just destroyed freaking Warzog over here and pace past everyone and got a monster goal. Maybe we gotta play him as striker or something. What a hit, son. Did not expect that. And now we are near the transfer window right here. And as you can see, we got a lot of money right there, which means we can bring in a couple more players. Well, one more player, Damari Gray. Thank goodness, goodness we are in the Champions League. I, am one of the, I totally even forgot. We won the playoff, and now we actually have real Champions League. And now we have real Damari Gray right here. Another Pesce, Pesce Mofo as we do get rid of Quincy Manek, who's been kind of a, a crucial player to the team. But he's done well, so I want to want to go ahead and give my appreciation to him. And Jordan Bami was the uh, piece that we sold to get Nathan Redmond. Both of those players have been absolutely crucial to getting Luton Town this far, so I cannot say enough great things about those two. But now we are into the transfer window, and now we are out of the transfer window. Uh, um, yeah, not too, not too much, guys. But we did hire the rest of the money I spent uh, on a high-end um, scout, and I'm sending them to Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. 
Um, because a lot of you, a lot of you guys have, uh, a lot of you Aussie fans have been asking, hey, can you please send a scout to Australia? So there you guys go. Uh, hopefully we can get someone good from you guys. We can get the next K hole. And now we are into the regular season. As you can see, our group has freaking Barcelona in it. So yeah, that's not, that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be so fun. And Shaka. And, uh, and this, this team that I don't know. Alright, we can probably beat that team that I don't know. But Shaka and Barcelona, we might be in the group of death. The, the group de la muerte, as my Spanish friends would say. I don't even know if that's correct, but, gah, that is gonna be a rough one. But this is an accelerated crew mode, guys, so we are gonna be bursting past it. It's gonna be a month to two months. Leave in the comments down below how, how fast do you guys want this crew mode to be now that we are in our second season in the BPL. Do you want one month or do you want two months? Um, obviously you guys want to get it closer to my money, my money window right here in January. But anyway, that will conclude this episode, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and uh, smash it that like button. And uh, show, show, show that Pokemon crew mode who's boss, guys. This is the old school. Let's take it back to the old school. And it's been fun. It's been a while since I've done uh, a freaking Luton Town commentary. And it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's like, it's like hugging an old friend. <laughs> that sounds weird anyway guys it's it's been a tough start to the season i i must admit um but now we have gotten kind of our feet underneath us and we have some amazing new players into the team and the pirates have come home and we're gonna we're gonna wreck some faces guys this has been your boy b minus hope you guys are having an incredible day we got pokemon career mode coming out for you guys tomorrow hopefully and until next time remember stay humble